Hey Siri, you know the drill. Take me to Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store. Directions to Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store. All right, am I on brand? Am I on theme for this, you guys? But hey babes, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. You guys saw from the title, today is going to be an exciting one. We've seen the hype around the entire Barbie movie that came out last week. No, this video is not sponsored by that Barbie movie, but come on guys, everybody right now is recreating Barbie outfits, Barbie-inspired aesthetic. I thought it would be so, so, so fun to go into the thrift store and try to do it for myself, mainly because you guys, you know how much I've been loving neutrals, but pink has definitely been one of my favorite colors to wear lately as well as pastels too so for today's video i'm going to take you guys along with me to the thrift store we're going to be thrifting for barbie inspired outfits but i gotta tell you i feel like barbie she's been misunderstood everyone's been putting her in a box as somebody who only wears pink and only wears like one type of aesthetic and today i'm not limiting myself i do want today's video to be mainly themed in pastel colors so everything for summer that we're loving pinks and purples even like light blues and other colors as well because honestly some of these outfits i've seen people wear it just looks like pink threw up on you and i don't really know how wearable those are for the everyday and the whole point of these videos is I want you guys to be inspired on clothes that you can get yourself that you can actually wear on a day-to-day -day basis like this t-shirt I'm pretty sure is the only pink thing I have so I'm excited to be adding more to my collection as well as some other fun colors too so without further ado you guys come along with me I'm gonna style myself like my own little Barbie doll and come thrift with me for Barbie inspired outfits let's go <laughs> The absolute best thing about this thrift store is that everything here is color coordinated, making it so much easier for me to stick to the colors that I'm looking for. And you already know, we might as well start off with the pinks. And something I didn't want to forget to mention to you guys, obviously when we go thrifting, we want to look for things that are super our style. So I'm going to be keeping in mind things that I would personally actually wear. A lot of these fits are definitely going to be a more modest Barbie aesthetic, but the kind of things I'm going to keep an eye out for specifically are fun flirty patterns, maybe like plaid, flower prints. I noticed that Barbie wears a lot of like sequin and stuff as well. As much as it's not so my style, I may be willing to dabble into it but everything super girly and flirty that's the vibe that we're going for the baby pink specifically like this one is such a cute little blush pink top i love the bow in the front that feels very classic barbie this one is a little bit more of a halter i don't know if i'd wear it on its own but maybe even with a t-shirt layered underneath barbie does tend to wear a lot of crop tops so i'm for sure going to be finding a ton of that but like i said i'm going to try to pick up things that i myself would actually wear because crop tops like this there's a ton if this was a smaller size definitely i love the lace trim detail this is very much that hot pink barbie color but for some reason this just feels too 2001 for me Ooh, a pose polo shirt for polo barbie definitely so i noticed there's already like a lot of pink barbie stuff just like this especially in that hot pink color but personally i just gravitate more toward these kind of pinks like the blush pastel -y pinks i feel like they're gonna be more my vibe for this thrift trip i love pastel purples and i just found this top over here i love the silky material and the fact that it's like a high neck also with a skirt so cute and then the baby blues of course i found this tank top that i absolutely love the buttons going all the way to the top i'm imagining for like athleisure barbie i mean just look at this color palette so far I love this top, especially to layer over top something else. And I like that it has a zipper here in the back and it's in the pink that I love. As you guys can see, I'm really more on a mission to add more color into my wardrobe with this video because you guys know how much I love the neutrals. And still, if I find some neutrals I love, obviously I'm not gonna pass it up. But forcing myself to get more colors and add a little bit of vibrancy into my wardrobe because I have to admit, when I wear fun colors like this, it does brighten my spirits for sure. I'm still in the neutral section because I just can't pass it up. I found this brand new with tags, free people top, and I really, really just love the texture of it. A nice spin on like a basic white t-shirt. Hands down, this is perfect for the preppy Barbie aesthetic kind of curious to try it guys i randomly found this dress and oh my gosh this is so precious and it's like four dollars if this looks nice and it's not too short i'm gonna be the happiest girl and yet another preppy barbie piece i really love the cable knit sweater with the color so much color you guys and this to the pattern. Oh my gosh, you guys, if I was a real live Barbie doll, I would have so much fun getting dressed up like this. I really love this. Aren't you guys proud of me? I mean, as proud as you can be. I haven't tried these on yet, but like I'm really picking up things that are colorful, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but that's literally like the whole fun of doing themed videos like this. I'm like trying things that otherwise I usually don't. Okay, this one, I'm not gonna be picking it up only because it's a sweater, but I had to show you guys. It's a 100% cashmere sweater in a hot baby pink, just like Barbie 
these. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna take it just to try it on, but just wearing cashmere in this weather, I can't even imagine. I did get a little bit distracted though, and on the way, I stopped by the sweater section. I found this vineyard vine shirt. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the pink stripes over here, but I'm imagining this with like a pink headband. It would look so freaking cute. Very like, I don't know what the decade is. 90s Barbie maybe? <laughs> Okay, I'll hear me out. Colored pants, like colored jeans or plaid pants. Anything that has a touch of pink or like those pastels, even like a pastel blue, I would love. All right, off topic, but these denim shorts look like they'll fit so well. They have the five button up fly and they're long, so still picking those up. Okay, we got a tiny little section here for colored pants and I kind of have high hopes for this section or even those green ones look nice. Okay, there's no way that these ones are fitting me, but holy wide leg corduroy green. Oh, these colors. Cargos look sick. They are so lightweight. We definitely have a badass Barbie in the mix also. Let's dress her up too. Okay, no luck with the pink pants. I'm not surprised because I don't remember the last time a store was actually selling a trendy pink pants, but maybe we'll have some luck in the skirts and dresses, which is coming up next. All right, I may have spoken too soon. I just saw that they have a bunch of new racks and over here, do you see pink? Do you see corduroy? You're coming with me. These are so cute. Only $2. In the skirts over here, I really only see one pink option. It does look like a good one. I've been wanting a nice like slip satin skirt. You guys, I've been wanting a long denim skirt and I've never been able to find one at a thrift store. And look at this one that I just found from the brand XOXO. Definitely in my size. It is super long and I actually really love this like tattered detail on the front. Definitely think if this fits, that will be an amazing find. I have to say nothing feels quite Barbie like this does, but I'm not currently obsessed with the plaid skirts, especially the skater skirts, but I would have still tried this on if only this wasn't the back. It looks like it hasn't even been complete. What is this? Because the front had so much potential to be cute. You feel me? Honestly, you guys, being in the mini skirts around here is getting me so excited for fall thrifting. I'm literally like in that place where I cannot wait even though fall here in Florida is kind of non-existent. I mean unless palm trees change colors but that won't stop me. The fall thrift trips are still going to be coming. There are so many cute dainty satins and slips but modesty wise it's just harder for me to wear them right now because I am trying to wear things that cover up a little bit more skin but look how pretty a lot of these are. This one I do love though. Such a pretty white slip. I love the corset front detail here and I do think it has the potential to be long enough. All right y'all look how cute this is. This is such a free people looking piece. It's a one piece romper. You know how much I love my rompers in a beautiful blush pink color with pockets in the back. Oh so many good finds today. All right so these next style pieces are something that I been seeing everyone recreate and that's like the blazers and suit jackets for Barbie. I found a pretty perfect one. It's this pink pinstripe one with the pants. I have to say this is very like not my style, too structured for me, but there is a bunch of these here. All right, and I definitely found Club Barbie's attire. These sequin dresses, very Barbie-esque. Again, not super my style, so moving on. Okay, are you guys ready for this? I found the most barbie dress to ever exist. Look at this. It's basically that like stretchy popcorn material. It's got the tie-ups on the side. I mean, this is definitely not something I'd wear so myself. Pretty. I know, it's cool, right? It's really oh my God. So back in the day. Exactly, back. exactly. We're bringing it back, guys. And for all my fellow nurses out there, I got you too. We even found Nurse Barbie scrubs. All right, guys, I'm back in my little children's corner where there's a mirror. I'm gonna go ahead and try everything on and I have a ton of stuff to try on. I'm gonna have to do this really quickly because whatever I decide to get, I'm actually gonna take it home. But if there's anything I try on that I have to show you, I'll show it here even if I don't buy it. I mean, this color palette though is insane. As you guys know, because there is no change room in this thrift store, I'm always wearing my like one pieces to be able to slip things on and off so easily. Okay, this is definitely not something that I would wear, so I'm not gonna buy it, but I needed to show it to you guys. Like, kind of awesome. It's just that tight fitting dresses, just not my thing. Okay, this dress definitely would have had potential if the sleeves weren't so big because I do really like the dress itself, but the sleeves are definitely too much. Maybe if they were like that. Okay, this next dress is so precious. I honestly feel like a little Barbie princess in this. Obviously a mini dress version, but it's so freaking cute. Oh, I love it. A little bummed. I actually didn't realize how big these corduroys were. Yeah, have to leave them behind. Oh man, it's so pretty this dress, but it doesn't fit. If these straps were adjustable, I would have been able to make it work, but it's so pretty. I wouldn't pick up a sweater anyway, but I just feel like this hot pink is just not me. Definitely groovy Barbie, but not for this Barbie. Guys, are you ready for this? This is such a freaking Barbie dress. You know what? It's only $4. I actually think that I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna tone down the sleeves a little bit, tighten this bust up a little, because the skirt part, 
What do you guys think? Do you think it's worth it for the $4 to try to rework it or should I just leave it? Comment down below and we'll see if you guys are right. As much as I like the fit of the shirt, I just, I don't like this color. Which is kind of the whole Barbie theme, so I kind of suck at this. I mean, the fit of the shirt, if only was baby pink, then yes. fits super nice but the material is so itchy and unpleasant like I can't wait to get it off I do love the color but leaving it behind this will definitely slay preppy Barbie look but obviously we're not buying things that we're not gonna be wearing so I'm not into Argyle anymore so I'm gonna leave it behind but preppy Barbie check these shorts would have been perfect if only they fit we scored on so much good clothes you guys but we definitely can't forget the shoes and accessories don't really know what I'm looking for here but anything that kind of sparks that Barbie emoji in me that's what I'll be picking up did I just say Barbie emoji what does that even I mean i mean barbie feeling <laughs> this stuck out to me like a sore thumb you guys there's nothing more barbie than this the hot pink the fur i don't know something about getting furry stuff at thrift stores do tend to freak me out a little bit even though i do love tote bags oh yeah that logo ruined it on the front but very barbie-esque even this what the heck this legit looks like a life-size holly pocket bag yet another furry pink bag and i have to say this one is definitely more my vibe and it feels a lot cleaner too it's crazy how much i think i like purple so much more than pink i found this bag right here most likely it is a knockoff even though here they price everything as if it's real would have been a cool find oh my god guys funniest thing ever the lady just passed by me she saw my cart and she's like wow girl you really like purple and pink i wasn't gonna go explain to her that it's kind of the theme of the video all right y'all we definitely did it we found the barbie heel i can't even imagine wearing something like this but like is this not the most perfect dupe for a barbie heel you've ever seen this right here is giving me major barbie vibes for some reason as like a cute accessory the skinny scarves i love So excited to show you guys everything that I got because some of these pieces are like my new favorite things in my wardrobe. All right, my kids are home. They're downstairs, so I'm in a little bit of a rush to show you all of these. But you guys, this first piece, I feel like it has really, really good potential, okay? It's that romper just like I told you. The only thing I'm not certain about is as you can see, because it's corduroy, the straps are just so thick that I have to tie it in a way that looks a little bit more dainty. Maybe I have to shorten them. Obviously not with what I'm wearing underneath, but like even a little t-shirt I think would look so nice. It's got pockets in the back and it's honestly just such a cute mom fit it was just $3.99 also and I really think that this blush pink color is probably my favorite of all the pinks easily by far one of my favorite dresses that I have ever thrifted guys I just love this dress so much I think it's the sleeves they are just so flattering on the shoulder it's got this like little corset looking situation and then the skirt is just so cute and dainty I was like thinking that it was a little bit too short but honestly if I wear shorts underneath and I definitely feel like I can get away with it and I do feel more comfortable but just so girly and flirty this one was $14.99 but it was 15% off so it was around $7 and it has the original tag on it too which is such a steal because it's literally brand new. This very much embodies like a little princess Barbie but not necessarily like the long dresses or kind of like the brunch Barbie. You feel me? This with like a pair of sneakers? Totally. Okay guys I know I know the pink popcorn dress. I was honestly contemplating should I get this should I not but then I thought about it it is definitely long enough that I could totally keep this and wear it as a Barbie costume one day because I probably wouldn't wear a dress like this on the day but it's just such a freaking cool find i mean just look at the little popcorn texture it's like super stretchy too it has a zigzag on the side which honestly you're not super crazy about but i was thinking to do like a barbie reel and i'm like i i just i have to get this dress for it plus how can i argue when it was literally just 2.99 there's no question right but this literally is the embodiment of barbie all around i'm getting like let's go shopping vibes with this so cute honestly you guys i was just like really feeling myself in this dress i decided to get it and like i said I'm truly just gonna take it to a seamstress and just get her to tone down the sleeves a little bit I mean, I got this dress for only four dollars So even to pay like another ten bucks even to make the sleeves perfect for me That would kind of be amazing because I really love all of the ruching details right here and on the cut of the neck on the sleeves too I just see this having so much potential perfect for like a bridal shower or a baby shower Okay, I didn't mean to go like this you guys. I'm not pregnant. Hop off that trail, please I just absolutely love the color and I love so much also that in the surf shop We didn't just stick to pink because I feel like that would have limited me a lot instead we just went for all of the fun pastel colors that i would imagine her wearing and the next one you guys the next one i mean 
Listen, it needs a lot of work, but the potential here, you guys. First of all, what I love is the whole baby doll style that it's like so poofy, but it kind of like stays poofy, which is what I love. It doesn't fall. Obviously, it is big on me. So once you actually like cinch it in to fit the chest, that already looks so much better. And then the sleeves are honestly just like way too much. Like if I make the sleeves like that, and then I cinch this in, ignore this big puffy sleeve, but like, do you, do you see what I'm saying? Like the potential here is so crazy. So I'm for sure gonna take this to the seamstress and get it fixed and then I'll update you guys on how it looks. I actually have my friend's rehearsal dinner which is gonna be like a lunch situation. So I actually think something like this would look so nice but I would love to hear your thoughts. Is this just in my head? Am I crazy? Comment down below. What do you guys think of the poofy dress? Was this something you're glad I got? Is it something that you just think will not work out even after I fix it? Just ripped off the tag. It just cost me $3.99 so like if I can make this work I feel like this will be insanely good. But comment down below. I want to know. Do you guys see the potential or do you think this is just waiting to go wrong. All right, y'all. I just truly do not have any mini skirts or anything on theme. So just don't look at the bottom portion of these outfits. I seriously need to find myself some better items to pair it with. But either way, I wanted to show you the top because I absolutely love the little flower detail that we have. And the blush pink color is super cute. I actually think these shorts could even work with like the right shoes and maybe a little jacket. It's very hard for me to figure out like how to pair these tops because most of the time Barbie is wearing mini skirts and I just don't feel comfortable wearing mini skirts anymore. But I really do love this top. Got it for just $4.99. This blush pink color, I love and like I said the little flower detail is everything and then you guys okay for the cardigan I had a different vision to style this with like a mini skirt or something But like I said, it's very hard for me to find ones that I feel modesty wise kind of align with what I'm okay to wear So just to make it a bit more my style I actually paired it with a pair of jeans and it did some little pigtails Which I think is so freaking cute you guys. I'm absolutely obsessed with the pattern I don't know what the brand is because the tag was ripped off. I did just get it for $3.99 I feel like this is one of those like really expensive more sustainable brands like that's kind of what it feels like There's a certain brand that comes to mind that does patterns like this I just don't remember the name if you guys think you know what I'm talking about comment it down below but I love this so much I definitely think more casual Barbie the one that actually wears jeans once in a while would wear it with a cardigan like this and all in all you guys this is definitely a look that I would sport guys this thrift trip this challenge was so fun the fact that it kind of forced me to go out of my comfort zone and get myself a few colors that I've honestly loved but I've always been scared to dabble in let me know down below which of these pieces is your guys's favorite I definitely think that that poofy dress like when I'm done with it I think it's gonna hit and it's gonna hit hard like, like that one I love so much but comment down below which piece was your favorite as well if you guys have any other challenges for me you have any other theme ideas for what you want me to go thrift next let me know if you guys are watching up to this point you are the real MVPs we love the ones who stick around all the way till the end if you are watching up to this point comment down below Barbie girl let's make it really really easy because I felt like a Barbie girl all of us inside are Barbie girls be sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already I posted a really fun reel there with all of these pieces if you want to go check it out but thank you all so much for watching I love you all forever and always and I can't wait to see you in my next one Barbie girls love y'all